Good evening, everyone, and welcome to City News. I'm Edward Jan, and we're live here in front of HSC after a significant announcement was made today. It's being billed as the largest healthcare capital investment in Manitoba's history. $1.5 billion to upgrade Winnipeg's Health Sciences Center. And while the news of more healthcare beds is welcome, advocates are left wondering who's actually going to staff those beds. The province announcing the investment will upgrade HSC's adult bed towers, including 240 new private patient rooms and an expansion of the adult emergency department at HSC. That's what this investment is all about. Better care for patients in Manitoba. Healing health care means putting patients first and ensuring the quality health care and services are there when Manitobans need it most. Every clinical hospital-based service available in the province is offered here at HSC, with the exception of cardiac surgery and eye surgery. This means for the majority of Manitobans, tertiary care is provided here, regardless of which community you may live in. The six-year project is expected to replace numerous dated facilities, some having been built as far back as 1897. According to the province, the new 10-story building will allow HSC to complete complex procedural and diagnostic imaging services. The province says the project can start now since the HSC Foundation has agreed to acquire the Manitoba Clinic. When you are here, you are in the hospital, it can be a most difficult time for you, for the people you care about. And going through that experience, frankly, in dated buildings designed for many years ago is not ideal. It's hard to find privacy. It's hard to find personal space. $72 million from the province's more than billion dollar investment will be used to expand the University of Manitoba's Rady Faculty of Health Sciences with the aim to move its health sciences faculties onto the Bannantyne campus. Anytime there's investment into healthcare, I think it benefits the patients of Manitoba and as people that work in healthcare, uh, all the members of Docs Manitoba were excited. While some welcome the news, others, like some unions representing workers at HSC, are skeptical of the timing of this announcement. Healthcare sector is uh, facing a lot of recruitment retention. I mean, COVID didn't help. Um, you know, working short, um, the cuts that happened, feeling underappreciated by this current government, it didn't help. Um, when you say, is this more or less, um, they need to do a lot more. Um, and not at an election time. The province says because of HSC Foundation's acquisition of Manitoba Clinic, outpatient services will be transferred over to that site. Now, both the Manitoba Association of Healthcare Professionals and the Manitoba Nurses Union tell City News that they are supportive of today's announcement, but they do say they wish the province works harder on staffing. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.